January, the Bering Sea. The Opelio crab season has taken a heavy toll. And this year, five crew members have lost their lives. Over the last 96 hours, the fleet has spent every minute baiting and launching crab pots. And now, the season end is approaching fast. Crews must push into overdrive to claim their share as the race for Opelio crab continues on the deadliest catch. <laughs> Five days ago, a fleet of 171 boats went to sea. Now, their marathon of pain may be nearing the finish line. The final 24 hours will make or break every boat. It's down to the wire. After 96 hours of back-breaking labor, the deckhands get a little punchy. There's a club in the tank! I wish I had somebody to go snuggle with me. Oh, uh, wouldn't that be nice? I just want a spoon. Anybody hear an announcement? Closes 23.59 on the 20th. Midnight tomorrow. The announcement from Fish and Game marks not only the last 36 hours of this season, but also the end of derby-style fishing. For the last 42 years, crabbers have competed against each other. This really looks like the last time that we'll have an open access fishery. And that's a, a terribly sad thing. Fish and Game has mandated that the overall catch will be divided and allotted to individual boats it's a move that might make the deadliest profession on earth safer, but it will also put many boats out of business and many fishermen out of work. Hopefully these guys, if they want to keep fishing, they can find jobs because they're all good crew members. So we're going to go get them. With the clock ticking towards closure, Captain Sig is trying to move through his last 60 pots at breakneck speed. This is the art of jamming gear down your throat. One on the block, one on the bow, one on the stern, and a table full of crab. See, that makes a skipper smile. Crew, crew not happy when skipper does that. Captain Sieg Hansen keeps his crew in constant motion. Need a bigger boat. Aboard the Northwestern, greed has trumped safety. Well, we know we're going to fill the boat. The question is, do we put them on deck or do we not? Using the tethered pots as a square-shaped holding pen, the crew will be able to store an additional 15 to 30,000 pounds if, and only if, the crabs survive. 330 miles northwest of Dutch Harbor is the Maverick. The season began with sacrifice and setback. The Maverick lost time taking part in the Big Valley search. It's a sad day. <laughs> Captain Rick Kwashnick is back to the fishing grounds after offloading. A $160,000 check feels good, but overconfidence brews carelessness. A half-ton pot slipped off the launcher. Probably smashed a couple hundred pounds worth of crab. They're lucky. Only crab got hurt this time. There are two hours remaining in the January Opelio crab season. Now the weather is turning bitter cold, making every movement painful. Oh. The Northwestern is literally crawling with crab. So much fun. The deck load is quickly reaching capacity. Exhausted and content with their hull, the crew offers a bounty to the sea. The final pot, they will leave for another day. The 2005 Opelio crab season has officially drawn to a close. Set our course for Dutch Harbor. As skippers around the fleet set their courses for port, exhausted crews head straight for their bunks, if they can make it that far. Across the Bering Sea, boats race to the processing plant. The longer a boat is stuck in the harbor, the greater the probability that the crab will die, and no one gets paid for dead loss. The Northwestern is one of the first to arrive at Accutan. That's good news for the deck load. Against all odds, they're still alive. A few berths away aboard the Lady Alaska, Captain Pete Liskey and crew receive an unexpected blessing. Peter is very excited tonight, I think. He is under the uh, idea that God has made the crab multiply in our tanks while we're on anchor. 
After weighing the load, the final tally is 149,000 pounds. That's $36,000 above Pete Liskey's expectations. Spirits are low aboard the Maverick. Unlike their first trip to the processing plant, the Maverick has been stuck in the harbor for seven days, waiting to offload, longer than the season itself. As they begin to offload, Rick's worst fear is confirmed. So they're getting dead crab in the hand. With their livelihood on the line, every pound counts. But morning brings better news. The dead loss was not as grave as it initially appeared. It cleaned right up. You know, the day ended up good. Alaskan crab fishing, the deadliest job in the world. But this is the final season for free-spirited entrepreneurs to win big on the Bering Sea. The reality is that fishing as we know it is over with. In the future, each boat will receive a quota based on their past seasons. It's depressing for the fact that you know that you're doing something that most people will never experience. It's the end of an era for Alaskan crab fishermen. This was the last chance to chase the rainbow and hope for the pot of gold. You will never see it again. Own the Deadliest Catch experience. Buy Deadliest Catch on DVD. Go to discoverystore.com to bring home all the adventure. Order now. This is one catch you don't want to miss.